Hello, Melamites and Melamillions. This is Mr. Mega Watermelon, and I'm making sure that I got this capturing going. So, it's you see, as you can tell, you're seeing my screen and not any floor, sky, or a Pokemon online thing that says play. So, I'm going to be doing something a little different. A new series I'm going to start on my channel called Building a Team. It's just a simple little thing that I like to do, you know. Figure it might be fun. I've never seen something like this. So I, I'm just going to build teams for many of the tiers. Which is kind of my personal opinion teams. So here you see I got my name, Interior Crocodile. I changed it to this because I don't want to type in the password over and over and over again. You know, I'm 20 x Mega Watermelon wouldn't be too clever. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this team, new team. I'm going to start totally fresh, okay? So, from all the time that I've done anything, I've always wanted to start with Elite. Oh, let me. I'm lagging again. So, what I like to do, I, I use Smogan server, so I'm going to open up my Google Chrome. I'm It's on the little thing under it, so. Smogan. Smogan University. Cro copyrights to them. I do not own any of this, and I'm pretty sure they don't mind if I would use it, so. My first team is going to be an OU team, tier. Oh, yeah, of course, you can use any of these, well, except for Limbo. You can use any of these in OU in the OU tier. I like to do. I always like to start with a like. This is how I usually build my teams. I start out with an anti lead, something that can probably. So, Alright, I start with an anti. That might as well pull this up because it's, it's not going to be OU. Something that can easily say. Fake out U turn, etc., really fast. So, what I'm going to choose is Ambi Palm. Sorry, I had to reach my arm around my mic to get the Ambi Palm. See? Alright, it's going to. I want it to be fast and be able to you get in there and get out. So, I'm going to make it a Jolly Ambi Palm. And where is it? Jolly Max Attack 252. And 252. And 4 HP because why not? And I use Technician because all the moves I'm going to be running on this are going to be very weak. So I'm going to go Fake Out. Double Hit because you know all Ambi Palms run double hit. It's the only reasonable thing to do. I like to run Low Kick. You know, Fighting Tide gives you some coverage on them rock types like Rhyperior and EU and etc. And of course a signature move to a U turn. And of course I had a small some. Um you see, I don't really really know how to explain myself here. But all I can tell you is that I want it it's fast, goes for the fake out. If it needs to, it has enough power power and double hit and low kick to back it up. See that um where is it? I'll just go to name, I'll tell you what. Uh, um Okay, <laughs> sorry about this. Uh, double hit has 35 power, which te plus technician probably makes about say 70 power, just about. And of course, low kick. Go on um, A B C D J K. Oh, there it is, low kick. It does based on the heaviness of the person, so really don't really matter. I just like using it. I might trade it in for low sweep actually. How about we try that? You know, some low sweep. Because it's 60 power and anything, as it says right there, powers up weaker moves and it's anything below 60 is powered up by that. So yeah, I'm going to use it and I think I always like to run Expert Belt on my, well actually now think about it, a Silk Scarf would be pretty good too. What do you think? I think I'll keep Expert Belt on there, see how it goes. I think they boost the same thing. Next one I'm going to do. I like to run a good bit of UUs too, and also you also what I usually do is I have spe like I have defense. I usually run two defensive and four offensive. Of course, two special attackers, two physical attackers. And what I what I'm going to do, of course, this is going to be one of my physical attackers. So, and one of my defensive people, I'm like to use Espeon. See how this works? Well, actually, probably a special attacker. Hmm. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, I think run dual screens or comma. Should that be that would kind of be throwing something in there, kind of a wild card. I've never been one to set up screens anyway, so 
I'll I'll use this calm mindset right here. As you can see, I'm just gonna check my recording again, make sure I got it all. So sorry if you can hear me breathing in my mic. Uh, I got a good distance away. I'm trying to get good at that. So let's put that away. Put that thing away. There are children here. I'm going to the snack bar. My SpongeBob joke. I officially respect you more. And so what I'm going to ch are we going to go to Pokemon? I always like to use these two slots for my defensive. These are the offense. I'm going to go Pokemon 5. Because I've been Espeon. And now we're going to check the set. It's going to be my life, life Orb or Leftovers. I'll tell you what. I'll run a Leftovers. Because I, I like to run Leftovers on my, con like, not Lepaberry. Leftovers on my Calm Mind sets. Just kind of, you getting that bulk from all them boost. So it really wouldn't matter. Think of my, uh, alright, Psy Shock. Like for those special walls that try to come in on me. Like Blissey and, it, like, things such as Blissey and, I guess you could throw Chansey in there. It's been used quite pretty often and things of that nature. So, I'm gonna run Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, and, let's say Hidden Power Fighting. Yeah, Hidden Power Fighting. So, you go hidden power, and you go over right here to fighting, and it sets up all the things to make it to the best power it can, things of that nature, etc. Of course, magic bounce over synchronized. That's a, that's the reason that I brought. I always like to bring either Exatu or Espeon to my UU you know you battles because. Magic bounce, or I, or I can bring not to you. Are you? But I don't play. That's not how I roll in those two. I'm a fully offensive person in those two tiers. But that's beside the point. I run magic bounce. I can fake out and U turn into a magic bouncer. That way I can get my rocks up without really needing my rocks up. So I'm gonna put them right there for importance. Even though I'm totally screwing up what I just said about my special attackers over here, my physicals over here, my defensive right there. But it really don't matter. And. Oh yeah, it said timid, didn't it? Uh, yeah, timid. I'll tell you what, why don't we go out on a limb and be modest? 252 special attack. It's probably what it wants. I'm just anticipating. And 252 speed. <laughs> speed. My voice right there is actually pretty cold in here. I'm kind of. That's beside the point. Of course, if you have Pokemon set uh, set up already, you can go into these boxes. I've labeled by tier. I play a lot of NU, so I have like boxes full of them. Same for UU. Of course, if I want to pick one of these, like if I want to put Infernape, I can just click right here, withdraw, etc. But I think I don't think I'm gonna use Infernape. So let's find another Pokemon, shall we? Um, one I've always wanted, like I always find him to be the best when it comes to just for you know just for the sake of revenge killing. I like to run a revenge killer is at is Heracross, Choice Scarf Heracross. With this moveset, Mega Horn, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Earthquake, Guts. I don't think Moxie's released yet, so I can't can't do that. So, because you know, sorry, I'm um, getting my thoughts together. What what is a Mega Horn, Close Combat, Earthquake, and Stone Edge? The, the, the that combination takes out a lot of OU pokes, except for bulky waters. See, look, and most like a good Blissey can't take a Close Combat. Most Breelooms can't really take very good Mega Horns or anything of that nature. You know, you can always go to the Smogon Damage Calculator right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get get off and show you this. How much time do I got? Nine minutes? Not too shabby. You go, no Pokemon, no weather, scroll down to the Pokemon. M, M, uh, where is it? G, Alphabet, huh? Uh, hair. Hair across bug fight move set choice scarf please I'll run adamant move I don't mega horn and let's see Pokemon Breloom set I guess most people run sub punches actually so let us calculate see does min max is Basically, odds are you're gonna Oko it. So, really, it's good. The only there's very few Pokemon that can take a very good thing from it. Ferrothorn, 
gets hit dominantly. Conquer. It can it can take one, but not too good. Celebi, Mega Horn. You can close combat. I think fighting's good on ice. Not sure. And Conquer Dragon Dragonites. You can Stone Edge it. Pretty good. Yeah. You know, this is for mainly for revenge killing, not starting out the attack or for double downs. You know the rule. Double downs. You always gotta send out your Scarfer. Mega Horn. Close combat. You you get the idea. Only the only thing I can't can really take them are bulky waters and bug steel like fortress and sizzle. That's really it. For example, Plato can take it because it's bulky water. Of course, Swamper can probably take them. Skarmory dies from stone. Gets pretty good damage from stone edge. Scrafty close combat. All these. And the reason I run earthquake over like night slash whatever you want to put on there. Mainly for like poison and steel Pokemon such as like Metagross. Metagross, of course, being resistant to fighting because he's part psychic. It's really, really good for. What am, what am I trying to say? Really good for taking him out, even though it's not really stabbed. It does good damage. Like I said, for revenge killing, a uh, Nine Tails, fire, fire Pokemon. You know, of course, not for Heatran because I don't care. My computer performance is slow. Go away. And Volcarona, Stone Edge takes him out. Verizion, Mega Horn, Venusaur. I, I think an earthquake might not. I thought I'd check that. I'm sorry if I'm getting off track here, but. Venusaur. Most of them run. I don't. I never see. I see. Always see those. So. It's gonna do a lot of damage to it. So. The point is. I found Heracross to be a very good person. Even though, sorry, I got off track for about two minutes there. But oh well. You see, he has a he has a good enough speed to the point where he can outspeed a good bit of stuff. Not close to Ambi Pump, but he just has the move set to super effective. Just about everything at OU, except for Bulky Water. That's why I like to run an Electric type to back him up because when it comes to Bulky Waters, you know it's gonna it's always gonna work. So. Let us find something that might work. That's, um, you think maybe I'll tell you what, a Raichu would be pretty good, you know, or Pikachu. That'd be kind of for the lulls running in there. Of course, Lander, like Lander's pretty good on my team, but I'm looking for someone with Electric mood to back him up. See, Electric, we gotta watch out for Gastrodon though. You throw grass, hidden. I say. You could throw a grass knot in there if you have a special person with a special electric. He's probably not gonna be in this tier, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna go back to Pokemon. When I'm look I'm honestly I am looking at Raichu because I know they run grass and I am electric moves, even though it doesn't really have that great of special base special attack, but let's check it. Um let's see R Rai, Rai Chia. There we go. The new tab. Uh, the base 90 special attack. Not too. That's not too bad, actually. But I was thinking more higher special attack. But of course, you know, this is honestly, while I'm still in the thought of it, it's going to be a very long video, so you're going to have to put up with my voice for about maybe, I can give it about 30 minutes. Maybe, give or take. So, what I'm thinking is. Electric Pokemon with HP Grass on them, and I'm always been. I tell you what, I know the best Pokemon to put in there right now. I just had an idea. It's like one of them light bulb things. Magnezone. If you have Magnezone, of course, you know, not hidden head and power fire to trap them. Can it run Grass Knot? Dang it! Can it learn any Grass move? Um, that would be a new. So, I've always liked to run. You know. Magnezone, trapped in scissors and ferrothorns and fortress. See that those bug steals that he traps them in to count them. So this is gonna be a hair cross based team with these two doing their own thing. And of course, now I think about it, I at some point I ran Gastro with Hidden Power Electric. That might work. He has pretty good base special attack. Let's check it. I'm <laughs> um, just going on about everything, aren't I? Gastro Don. Well, I'm looking for it, I might as well say, uh, I'm going to be going by Interior Crocodile on my thing, on my Pokemon Online, so if you ever wanna, if you ever wanna battle me, that's where I'm at. 
See, he's got a choice in base 92. That's actually better than Raichu, so. If I run, this is, if I run a specially defensive Gastrodon with hidden, with instead of, let's see. Hold on, what are you doing? Power. Instead of, like, Ice Beam, I could run Hidden Power Electric. You know, with Storm Drain, it's going to be easy, but they're going to switch out, though. So I really might as well keep it Ice Beam. You can see where they can predict it. But I don't think... Um, I'm in a... So I'm just going to keep Ice Beam on there because I, I like to run that. See, it's Max Special Defense Match HP. Be sassy. I don't know why. This is what the set said. I follow smoking. Okay, so I got my two special attackers, my sp two physical attackers, and my special defensive wall. So, what should I run for my physical wall? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Like, tears. OU. Let's run something in OU. I bet. I don't think the, like, Fortress or Ferrothorn being Steel Pokemon would really go well because it would give me kind of a fire weakness. I already got two two things weak to fire, so I don't want any more. Honestly, what am I thinking with that? But, oh, well. That's what I do with my teams. I just kind of, I build them, and then I work with them in the, during the process. I just keep going. I keep working with them. So, let's see. Tell you what, let's see a Venus. How about Venusaur? It's gonna eat mixed growth sub seed. Say what? Hmm. How about we run Venusaur because it gives pretty good coverage to Gastrodon and it abuses sun. So if I see anybody in the sun, it's gonna it's gonna help. Uh, like even though it is defensive, it's still gonna it's still gonna do a lot of work. Venusaur. Bold nature. What did the rest of it say? All right, leftovers. Leftovers. Hmm. Left. Lefties. Chlorophyll, of course. Overgrows for noobs. So it's gonna be sub C. One ninety two HP. So I type in one ninety two. And two fifty two defense. 52 special defense. If you can't read, if you can't read it, because I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. But I'm just trying to give you a little tutorial on building teams and etc. And 12 speed. And so we got. All right, that's what he is. So let's get the moves. Leech seed. Ah, uh, substitute hidden power fire and sleep powder. So those are two. I honestly kind of disagree with that. Instead, how about we run my like I like to throw something, mix it in there. All right, so we got sleep powder, be nice. Okay, so what attack should we run? I'll tell you. All right, now change the category to special energy ball or grass knot. Yeah. I need. I'll tell you what. It's special and you know. I needed some. I tell you what, Petal Lance would be pretty cool. You know, it'd give them something they weren't expecting, but you know, I don't think it'd be very. So, I want to run a grass move. You know, I have a very gastro weakness. Uh, it sounds weird, but oh well. Um, see, about Giga Dra Giga Drain to get even more health back. You know, since it's got to bump up to seventy-five, not really much different from. Energy ball, so I think that might be pretty good. What do you say? And we got so we got our team right here. Let's put them to the test. I'm probably gonna end up losing this, but oh well. Smogan University, cause Smogan is cool. This is the only one I ever play on. Unless you, anybody like tells me, hey dude, come play on this server. I'll be like, okay, fine. Okay, so I got he's got the Randorosu. Well, actually, it's called Landorus, but but. Oh well, but is he Scarf? I'm wondering though. They probably don't want it to be no on there. Well, I could low sweep it, or I can U-turn out. He's probably gonna set up his rocks since I'm faster. I'm gonna U-turn into Espeon. See, told you right there. You probably can't see it that well, but you see it right there. I'm just gonna take you a second. Let's sink in. 
going to, he's probably going to switch out or something, so I'm going to call mind. He sends out his Randorosu. It's fine, I got the Randorosu. If you watch show food, you know what I mean. <laughs> Should I side shock? I think I'll side shock with the stab. Oh, dang. Forgot it ran U turn. Well, that backfired. Now he's going to be able to set up his rocks and whatnot. But I get switch. I get priority switch. I should have thought about that, though. I feel kind of stupid. I think I got a pretty big bug weakness. I mean, he can't take physical attacks very much, so. Hmm. We're, we are in a pretty tight spot. For the record, if you think I'm very crappy at OU, I don't play that much, and I'm not really that good at anything, quite frankly, so. Fake out. Come on. He's probably going to protect the fake out and go to something, and I'm like... I'm down, I'm down five six. So, so anyway, he'll probably get one right there. See? Now I think should I U-turn or should I draw switch? I'm pro I think I'll out. No, he. Oh crap! I'm just derping the whole time, aren't I? Hey, guess what? You're trapped. New cakes. He's probably banded. I bet you. See, that's why, that's why you run mag zone. It, it's magnet pull, it traps steel types in there, and with the coverage it gets, it works very, fairly well. So I'm going to send in that gastro. Hit him. I'm going to toxic it. Get it. See. Get that Vaporeon toxic. Send in my Venusaur, because you can't get, it can't go do sub up. He's probably thinking, what are you running with the Venusaur with, you, bro? So I'm going to set up a sub. Oh, he wish passed. I see what you did there. Sleep powder. You're gonna sleep, new cakes. Leech seed. And Giga Drain. I'm just kind of wear him down here with the Giga Drains. He's gonna. Oh, he woke up? Dang. That's quick. So. I know he's gonna lava plume, so I'm kind of afraid to go into anything else. I'll tell you what, I'll go to Gastro. Oh, what well, do you know? He swapped. So. Let us ice, ice beam all the Latios. Oh crap, it runs energy ball. Since when does a freaking Latios run energy ball? Come on. Well, I am just terrible. This is. I, I'm ashamed of myself. 20 minutes gone to waste because this team's garbage. Freaking stealth rocks. And so I'm going to send in my choice scarf Terracross. And he is. Look, see, Buck, good on Latios. And whatever he brings in is going to take a hefty hit because I'm adamant. Do I sound kind of jittery? I think I sound kind of jittery, just saying. But oh well, let us see. And you missed. What the horse, man? You missed. So I know that Landers does not have very good defenses, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh man, it did not do enough. Crap. So I'm going to let him die because I know that you, we. <laughs> Face palm. Send my Venusaur. Very bad battle. I'm sorry. Like this is. I'm like, hey, this team's gonna be really good. Yuck, 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 yuck. Guess what? It's not. So what? Uh, what do I have to say for myself? Don't ever trust Cameron. So I'm gonna. Oh, great. I'm really weak to fire. You wanna know what? I just I realized I have three fire weaknesses now. So, I guess this is more along the lines of me building a team, not a guide to build teams, but, yeah, well, it'll work out eventually. He's going to outspeed me and kill me. So, I can send him my Magnazone. I'm going to do a Thunderbolt. You know, I got Stab over Hidden Pass. Oh, he outsped me, so. You're a turd anime lover. Let's try this again, shall we? Let's see. No. Uh, let us try this again. So it's gonna be another battle. We're gonna keep trying. I'm gonna fake out, and I'm going to U-turn to my Espeon, and he twisted these dimensions. Oh joy! So, oh god, why do people have to run such weird sets? People, why do you not run normal sets? That hidden power fighting. Oh god, I forgot it outspeeds. Cancel that. Going to the Venusaur. And he's probably going to still have speed. Dang trick room. I'm quite the pickle here, aren't I? Oh, 
crap. That's what Mag's out floating on a balloon. It doesn't work where there's not heat around. So, yeah, I might as well just scrap this, but I'm not going to because I don't want 30 minutes going to waste. Guess what, balloon noob? Do I still remember? Twisted dimensions to normal, noob. Noob, noob, noob. So, yeah, I'm actually doing good on this one. And guess what? You're trapped. So, hidden power fire. All the things. Please be mid max. Please be mid max. Great, now it's going to pop my balloon. Oh, never mind. Hey, I outsped a Jiraji. Because this is trick room, I'm actually slower. But next time he's gonna come in, I'm gonna be all like, "Yo, you're dead." And what should I send in to a fodder out Espeon? And now I can get a free switch into Ambi Palm, get that priority going. Crit. Finally, something's going my way. I'm gonna do Earth Power. Because the twisted dimensions have turned to normal. He's going to send his Grodrachi, so. I can already tell what he's going to do. <sighs> Sorry if I breathe in my mic there. Oh, come on! I have a stupid team. Let's see. We got 26 minutes. See, you can see a good bit of flaws in my team, actually. So, but you you saw in the last battle how that little fake out you turn magic balance strategy works. It's it's good. It's good. So I'm gonna get out of there. Well, I still have some pride left, and you see that didn't turn out too well, did it? See, I have three fire weaknesses, and well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that speaks for itself. Three fire weaknesses. I'd say um. So this is the part where I edit my team. Because it does so dang garbage to the point where you gotta fix it. I'm gonna keep that those two because they're they're really helpful. I think I might swap out Magnezone. I really don't need a trapper like that. He does come in handy a lot though. Because I don't have any levitate. But now I'm thinking I don't have any priority on my team either. Actually, what if I swap him out for? Darn, I don't have him on my team. I don't any. I don't want any plugins. I'll swap him out for Scizor. And, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, Melon, you have th you still have three fire weaknesses. I know that, but oh well. So I'm gonna lower the. I'm just kind of gonna go custom. I really don't feel like searching. I'm gonna, you know, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, bullet punch. U turn. What else do these things run? Great, now I gotta. I actually gotta go search. Yay. So, and here we go. Pursuit. Uh, superpower for coverage, I guess. And pursuit. I've always like. I always like to trap things. I'm a trapper. Go for the choice bandit scissor. What's this? 248. Alright, never mind. So we put that back to 248. And there we go. Choice Bandit Scissor might do better. And we take out and get a better special attacker. No? So. I don't have any fire Pokemon. So I'll tell you what will be good. Chandelure. Stay modest, calm nine set, but I already have a calm mindset, so change it, change it to energy ball. I put on choice scarf because you know it's pretty slow Pokemon, honestly. So you understand, it doesn't run levitate, so well, it doesn't have levitate. I always thought it had levitate the whole like whenever I did something, I was like, it, it has levitate about it, probably an earthquake. I guess what it does is I'll levitate. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just so that now we only have two fire weaknesses, but it's countered by flash fire, chandelure. We have the defense, these two defensively. We have two special attackers and two physical attackers. So the only problem is they're both technician people. So mold breaker's gonna kind of destroy me. 
and you know because it takes away technician takes away from those things of that nature so should we what should we do what do you think I'm gonna I'll tell you what, I'm gonna test it see how it goes just one battle one battle wouldn't kill me so let's see if those adjusting adjustments are any better adjustments Jolteon I see two UUs and NU three UUs actually he's got a pretty weird team I'm gonna be honest with you so okay so I don't see anything that could set up rocks maybe Embroar and Golurk I'm not sure if they actually learn it but you cheeky little so I'm gonna U-turn out of there and be derp and go to my oh god it's not looking good for me darn Okay, so um, I should probably should have went into Venusaur, but bullet punch away. Do you think I can live one? Yeah, I can live one. Cause he's a derp. Yep, I see my scissors cool. My scissor be cool. My scissor be popping. What you know about me? You don't know nothing. So uh, I'm just gonna save him for later, so I can pull U-turn out on him. You know. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh God. It was fire, wasn't it? You know, he's probably gonna end up psychicking, so I'm gonna send him my gastro. Ooh, good turnout. Now he's going to get toxified. You think he's gonna predict me to go into Venusaur? No, nope, he's gonna. I didn't know Celebi learned stealth rocks. I guess we all learned something today. I just realized I have nothing to really hit this, so I'm gonna set up my sub. Here for the leech seed, he has hidden power ice, and I missed it. I missed the leech seed, so he's gonna be locked in, and I'm gonna take that like a boss, and I'm going to earth power. So la 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 la, and it had no effect. Did he on what? On a balloon? How did I see that? And did I see that coming? No. Oh, he baton passed. Interesting. Yachi Berry. So, oh, he forfeited. See, I got a pretty good team going here. So, I think I'll leave us off here. You know, just simply put, you can just save team as. I already have an OU team, so I'm going to put OU2. And I'm going to put up a battle later on, so just showing if that team actually works. If it does, it's probably a load of crap, though. Wouldn't recommend using it, but I figure that's how I build my teams. Of course, I sometimes use the Firewater Grass Core. But this is my team, and I think I'll leave you on that note. So, yeah, I hope you like my background. Pretty cool. And I guess I'll see you next video. I'm not sure if next video is going to be any uploads of... I'm not sure if it's going to be Pokemon Online Battle, if it's going to be Floor Sky, whichever I feel is necessary. So, I'll see you later, people. Melons out. See ya.